Alpha. Hi, welcome to this year's new testing of the Cinealta series, specifically the Sony Burano. This is a camera that is dangerously, exceedingly, beautifully, hauntingly close to the Venice. It is probably more and more accessible for everybody. Roll camera and action! There is a touch screen that is there making things extremely simple. I like the quality of the monitor. Everything is right there. Just trying to set up the main feature of this camera which is the autofocus feature. Sony has always been good with its color space, the speed, the resolution, so many other things. But first time that we are seeing uh, inbuilt autofocus tracking feature, the only thing that I could think was to make sure that everything is in a line and the camera is continuously approaching a subject. It has an AI which is able to recognize humans and you can put it into the human tracking mode or there is an area tracking mode. When I use this in a professional setup, I am constantly having a smooth image because it is actively stabilizing my image in real time. So if you see what we've done here is we've set up a really, 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 really long piece of track that I've run out of the studio floor. Three different parts of the set were lit differently. One was nice and bright and even and pastel. The other part was slightly moody where there were shadows on the faces so I could to see the latitude is there. Each setup is uniquely testing a different part of the camera. It's a body which is small like a consumer body and yet here it is doing all professional capabilities. Not only is it becoming smaller, it is part of the Cine Alta family. Therefore, it is recording a 16-bit RAW. It is able to handle a 16-stop latitude. I can probably shoot without lights and that's where the dual ISO comes into play. This is at 3200 ISO as its native ISO, which is even more sensitive. You can mistake me for holding a small Venice camera in my hand because that's the first impression that I got when I first took it up in my hand and I said, it looks like a baby Venice. The color signs that has been given to the Burano is the same as that of a Venice. At this size and at this speed, and when I talk about speed, they have their CF Express cards which are amazing. Coming back to the internal LUTs, this has four internal LUTs. Now that makes your work faster, your workflow faster. When I shoot a big film or a smaller film where we have decided that we're going to use anamorphic lenses, this has an inbuilt anamorphic D squeeze. We have inbuilt variable NDs. You don't need to carry a kit of filters anymore. I don't know if I'm going to send this camera back to Sony. Let's see. Keep enjoying the Burano. I hope to use this more.